Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at the Castlewood Orb Drive. Now what is an Orb Drive? Well, this is a contemporary of PsyQuest drives and iOmega Jazz drives. This is a high-end, high-speed, removable media format that actually has hard drive platters in the cartridge. This is not the floppy type material you would find in a zip disk or the click disks or the LS120 disks. These are actual hard drive platters. So this was an expensive, high-speed, removable media format. In fact, uh, Castlewood was started by some employees that left SciQuest and created their own company and this is their take on it. So this is a 2.2 gigabyte disk and all of these high speed drives at the time were SCSI and they were marketed mainly to professionals that would pay the price for them to get the uh, speed and performance out of them. At some point in the late 90s when Apple started removing SCSI from the Macs and USB became a thing, Castlewood started throwing in a USB SCSI adapter so you could plug it into your Mac. The problem is, is that USB at the time was 1.1. It was really slow and SCSI was very fast. So you were taking something that was super fast and shrinking it down into USB 1 speed. So keep that in mind in this video. This is not a true test of how the performance of this drive would be on the proper machine. We're just showing how to hook it up to an iPhone. So I've got the USB adapter attached in the back and we'll put the cartridge in. You can actually see the head mechanism working in the back here. It's translucent. It's kind of cool. Now I'll plug it in to the USB here. There it is. So we can look at some pictures here. You'll see a similar speed problem that we had with all the USB 1 devices recently. And let's see, we got a song on here. We'll let that cache for a little bit. Again, on a regular computer, you wouldn't have this. In fact, even with USB 1, I don't really have these problems on my Mac when I plug in these USB 1 devices when I'm opening it in, in a quick launch. It's very responsive. I mean, copying stuff is still slow, but I just think the iPhone's a lot slower than a desktop computer is when using files over USB. Hopefully, that'll get better in the future. All right, let's go into my iPhone here. We'll grab the PDF for the manual for this and we'll be able to copy it down to the org drive. I'll go back to the org drive and there's the uh, SCSI org manual. And we'll be able to see if we can read that up as well. So, everything works fine to the SCSI to USB adapter. I wasn't sure. SCSI to USB adapters are a bit of a rabbit hole, and uh, they're very expensive to buy, used, and there's not really a lot of information whether they need drivers or not. So I really wasn't sure if this would work, even on my uh, Catalina Mac versus, let alone my iPhone. But it just worked perfectly. It was no problem. Everything works as expected, um, which is really, really cool. It's nice to know that uh, SCSI can be converted to USB without any drivers and plug it right into the iPhone. So like the other, most of the other removable media I have, I can, of course, eject it from the phone because there's no eject buttons in this interface. So we usually have to disconnect it and kill the power. And 
and then we can eject it once it's completely back up again. But the orb drive does do something kind of neat, so I'm going to show you how that how that is right now. Once this light goes green, I can hit the eject button. And this is cool, watch this. The door closes itself. I think that's a nice little touch, keeps uh, dust from getting in there. So anyway, that is it for this video. Orb drive with a SCSI, the USB adapter works perfectly with the iPhone, just as you'd expect. So it was a very nice surprise to see how easily that worked. That's all for now. Uh, if you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. I'm gonna have one more video out by the end of the year and I've got big plans for 2020. But that's all for today. Thank you.